everybody we are back on perfect green monkey and i will show you how to complete the impossible rubik's cube so yes you heard me right i will show you how to complete the impossible rubik's cube no first step in completing this is to get the top layer you can use any color, you can make any color the top layer, but I prefer white. So what you are going to do first is you are going to get, find all the colors that have white in the middle. So like right here, 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 or here. And it can be on different sides as well. So I have one right here, so then I'm going to put it up. Now it's red, so I'll put it to the bottom again, and then I'm going to move it till I find red, and then turn that red to the top, so then it should look like this. Now, do that as much as you can. Okay, so now you should have the white cross done, and, uh, oops, on each one you should have two in the middle. See, like this, this, and this. So now what we are going to do is we are going to get the corners of this top one. And how you do this is you look for the white ones. See, here's one. And look at the bottom. So it says it's blue. Well, it's already on blue. So you just bring it down where it should go. Turn it in like so. Bring it up. See, now I have one corner. You do that again with all of them. So I have orange on the bottom of this one right here. And I'm going to put that in here. So I move out, put it down, put it back in, and there. So now I should have a full top when I do that. And I have two more corners to go. So when I do that, then it shall look better. Let's see now. Oh, no, that was wrong. See, you have to get it right or else bad things will happen. So there, so I have the full one done and all the tops should be done as well. So now we are going to work on getting the middle layer. So there's this algorithm for it and I have to do it backwards because I'm looking at the camera. But what it is, is you look at your top. And so I have uh, a little L right here or doesn't look like an L to you. Not looks like an L. Okay. but it looks like an L right here so what I'm going to do is look for one piece that's in this part in this T part well lowercase t and I'm going to look for one that doesn't have a yellow on it so these two don't so I'm gonna take one of them and match them see like this and this one well I can't match them both at the same time so I have this one matched right now and what you do is you look above it. So I have a red above it right here. So I'm going to move it away from red. So there, I moved it away from red. Now red's over here. So I'm going to lift the side that is closest to red. So this side up. And then move it onto red and put it back down. Then we're going to move it the exact same way. Put this side up, uh, put the opposite side up. Turn it back in and put it back down. And now you should have one right here. So you do that again. So I have green. I have orange on the top. So I bring it away from orange. This side up. Turn. Bring it back down. Same way. Up. And put it back in. See, now I have one there again. Okay, I'll keep doing this until I have all of them away from blue this side up turn down do it again boom last one now I bring this to green away from red this side up there side away and there so now I should have all this middle rows done and all the bottom rows done now for the hard part. So what you do is you have to have your 
your cube will on the top will look either just have one dot in the middle an L up here like mine mine is an L we're not doing corners yet so it should have either an L a straight line a dot or already a T so if you already have a if you already have a lowercase T you're already set and you can skip to the next part if not I will show you how to get it to be a T so right now I have this L in my corner so what I'm going to do, I put, you make sure that the L, if you have an L, make sure it is in the top left corner. Well, to me, it's the top left corner. To you, it isn't. But to me, it's the top left corner. So here is my top left corner, and I'm going to make sure it's still there. Then, when it's in the top left corner, you turn the side that has it on, see, Here's the side where it has it on the top left corner. So you're going to turn this side sideways. And you're going to put this end up. Turn this over here like this. Put this back down. Turn this back. Put it in. So now, if you did that correctly, you should have a straight line up here. If not, then you can go back and watch what I did. Make sure this line is horizontal, not vertical. So it can't be like this. It has to be like this. What you do is you do the exact same move. So as it's horizontal in the front, I go up, this side up again, turn, put this down, turn this back, put it back down. So now you should have the yellow cross done. You should have a T, but not necessarily, it doesn't mean they're all in the right place. So mine, it just happens that it worked out, but at the end of the video, I will show you what happens when it hasn't worked out. So if yours worked out like mine did, and all the colors go into the right place, then that's perfect. If not, just skip to the end of the video to my last steps. And, well, this is the last step right now, but it's not, it's the last step to finish the cube, but not the last step that I'm going to show you. So right now you're going to look and you have to figure out, so, see I have orange here and green here so I'm going to try to see if orange and green and yellow are on these corners so nope this is blue orange yellow this is blue orange yellow as well oh no this is blue red yellow so that's not even right this is blue orange yellow orange green yellow and red yellow green so none of them work for mine so what you're going to do is if none of yours worked then just do it in a random uh just do this move in a random place if it did make sure the one that is correct is right in your front right corner so i'm just going to do it on a random one because mine did not work out so what i do is i go first I'm going to go up, move it this, no, oh wait, I messed up, sorry about that. So what you do first is you move this, you move it left, so you move it left, then you put this one up, move it to the right, this side up, put it down, left, down, just like that. It doesn't seem like it did a lot, but it did. So now mine didn't work out again, but one of them is. So what I'm going to do, see I have one that worked out, so I'm going to turn it up again. Because you can keep repeating this move until all your squares match. But it has to be, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like it doesn't have to have them all like mine. It doesn't have to have them all like this. It can actually look like, it can look like this and still be correct. Mine just turned out to be neat. So I'm going to move it to the left. Do the same move. So like so. And there. I've completed another side. It is not correct. Well, the side is correct. That was a surprise. Anyway, so mine worked again. See, I have a red 
there's red, yellow, there's yellow, blue, and there's blue. So this corner is right, this corner is right. So I have two, so all my corners are right, but these two aren't in the right place. So what you do is you grab each side, one of the sides. So I chose red instead of green. Actually, no, you wanna choose the one that is most right. That not like right as in correct, but most right as in the direction. So most this way for me, but for you it would be this way. Anyway, so I'm going to go up, Put well first put the white on the top now, hold it like this. First you put this side up, then move it this way, down, back, up, side down back and remember I'm opposite of you until you get red and blue here well not not for you but your colors here the right spot so see I have red here and blue here so now what you do if you got it don't just turn to the next one or that'll mess you totally up what you want to do is you turn your bottom you turn your bottom to find which one is wrong, and then you do that move again till it's correct. And when it is correct, it should be completed. Thank you for watching this video, and yes, I will show you the final step. So, I'm back, and here's my completed Rubik's Cube. I'm going to mix it up without looking. I'm going to do all the steps over. So I'll be back. Not remembering what I'm doing. Mixing it up. Okay, so I'm here and mine didn't work out like I told you it wouldn't. See, I have an orange here. A blue here but a green here instead and I already got the cross so what we are going to do to fix this is simple so you grab you if you have two across from each other do this in a random position and you might have to do it twice and then it should look like mine after yours is done yours will look like mine when I start like right now so after you do this so the trick is you want to put these right on the right and on the back. So what we're going to do, we have them on the right and the back. You lift the side on the right, put it to the left, and put it back down. Turn the top again to the uh, left, put your side back up, and bring it all the way back. Now. If you have done this correctly and your cube was set up like mine, then you should have it like this. If not, then you will have to find it. Now you will have to find the two that are beside each other. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like the video, and hit bell notifications.